Yo guys, what's up and today I'm back filming another video and today this video should be quite exciting because I'm filming the what I got for Christmas 2017. As you can see I look um terrible but basically it's not really my fault because um it's 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 really complicated because it's kind of half past 11 at night and everyone's literally asleep apart from mum like i think she's still up but um yeah my highlight and contour looks absolutely terrible and um yeah i literally don't know what to do the lighting in my room was playing up so bloody bad that i didn't know what to do i feel like the um highlight is too dark so it just leaves like this cast on my face so i kind of look like an indian so i'll try and sit like sideways for half of it so you can kind of see the better side of it but if you ever see anything that's just off I do apologise as well as this foundation, the colour between my neck and my face is terrible. I tried out the Urban Decay All Nighter one and it decided it wanted to oxidise even though it was the lightest bloody shade. But anyway, whatever, we're going to get on with this video. I've had to take down my Christmas tree because I've been sorting stuff out all day and that needed to be packed up and got in the loft. So I'm really sorry that that's been taken down but it's, it's, I think it's December the 27th. So... Yes, let's just get on with it. A little disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or show off about anything that I've got. I'm literally so grateful for anyone that got me a present or anything like that. A card or money or like if anyone just said like Merry Christmas to me or made an effort to like help towards con like contribute towards me having a great Christmas. So like thank you to everyone who's made an effort and I'm not, I'm literally not bragging but this video has been requested and this video is filmed by a lot of people and I feel like filming it and I know that people are going to do better and some people like are going to get more better things and they're going to get like other people aren't going to get as like good things if good things like you know what I mean but yeah I don't really want to brag and I don't want you to think that I'm bragging because I'm bloody not so yeah enough of the talking because I know you guys probably hate long intros so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing I'm going to go through is, um, a, I've got loads of cards, like I'm not even joking, most of my family just wrote cards, like I've got all this lot, I've got this one from my nan, this one from my dad, this one from, oh god I don't even know, my auntie, this one which is not mine obviously i don't know how that got in my little folder and this one from my uncle and this one was from my cousins and i got a five pound jd gift card which isn't i think that's the lowest amount you can go to but because obviously there's sales going on like i can put that towards something as well and my other cousin with um this card also got another five pound voucher so that's ten pound together to put to like maybe a 20 pound top and that might even be on reduced to like 10 pound because it might be 50 percent off so i can get something with the gift vouchers and all those people like this lot of cards were from my dad's side of the family so i am really thankful for that and i absolutely love receiving cards like most of what my dad's family get is just they put money and like checks or gift vouchers in cards which i'm so like grateful for but i just i don't know they don't really give presents because it's just easier to do money to be honest from my dad i got a 45 pound um that i got 45 pound in cash which is absolutely amazing like bloody amazing i got 25 pound from my uncle which is really nice of him 25 pound from my auntie which is really nice of them 25 pound from my nan which is absolutely amazing and she also got me this little thing while i'm at it it's oh i don't know where i put it oh bloody hell where have i put it no Right, I just found it. It's this little, like, Baylor's and Hardin bathtub. If you watch my vlog from Christmas Day, you will know. But, um, yeah, some of the things also that I'm going to be talking about, you might have already seen, and um, you might already know that I got them, but I'm just going to do, like, a general overview. So, yeah, I got this from my nan as well. It's just, like, a little... I think it's a shower cream. Does it say that? Yeah, shower cream and body lotion, which is really nice, and a £25 in cash in my card, which is lovely and from my other uncle and auntie they gave me a 40 pound new look voucher which is honestly so generous of them like i don't even understand like why would you do that like i don't understand like they said that i could either 
have the money or the voucher so I was just like no I'd rather have the voucher and then like that he would either give me the cash at that point or just let me keep the voucher so I was just like I want the voucher because I bloody love new look and also from my dad and my stepmom, they're going to buy me the Google Home Mini, you know, like that little thing where you talk to it and like you can play music off it and it tells you things like about the weather and it tells you what you have on in the day and things like that. Yeah, they were going to get me one, but then they went to Argos and wasn't there. Curry's PC World wasn't there and some other shop, but um, they literally sold out. So I don't even know, but that's going to hopefully be in my little collection in the new year they said they're going to try and get one in the new year because that's when they said they'd be stocking back up but also my dad and stepmom picked me out this um, massive eyeshadow palette and i've never really had one like it like i know i've also always had eyeshadow palettes like i love eyeshadow so much but um i just feel like this one is bloody massive like it's the biggest eyeshadow palette i own for definite and like look at the size of it it's bigger than my head like boy and um little disclaimer i kind of scraped out one of the shades um right here because i wanted to see how deep and like creamy the eyeshadow was and how like big the pan was so like how much i could use of everything but i've swatched a few shades if you can tell but it's just got a real range of like every single kind of color it's got a little mirror and it did have two sponge applicators but i threw them away because i don't really use them but yeah i feel like it's like a really nice array and you can get like a bunch of different looks out of it. I don't really know how pigmented it is because I haven't really bothered trying the pigment levels in it. And I haven't really bothered doing an eye look with it yet. But I am going to test this out in the near future and maybe do some tutorials with it, which will be exciting. But yeah, um, I absolutely love that present. Like I think that's pretty lit. I don't know where it's from. It's just a brand called Gloss and it's got 100 shades in it, which is really good. I'm just really starting to ramble now, aren't I? Yeah, um, yeah, but anyway, I love this. And I'm really excited for the Google Home Mini because that's my main present. And I'm really excited because I really want it and everyone's saying it's really good and I just want one in my room. I'm going to move on to other presents. I think I'm going to do food first. So um, to start with, I got one of these selection boxes from my neighbours. Like, they came over and they just gave me one and one for the soul. Like, that's bloody amazing. And I also got one from my mother as well. So I have, in total, three of these because um, Key got me one as well, which is bloody amazing. And I think they're just trying to make me really fat because I just have so much food, like, in, in total. Just so much food. And also, I'm not going to be showing you the presents that Key got me because there's a whole video on that. And I'm going to try to remember to link it down below. So if you want to see the presents that Key got me for Christmas, which were literally out of this bloody world then go and check the description box i also got um six packs of vimto tubes in my stocking they were like in a pack but um yeah i bloody love them and also my mum does as well so she keeps stealing them off me but it's fine it's fine but yeah also in my stocking i got the jelly bean factory 36 gourmet flavored jelly beans and they're just in like this little tube and we always kind of get jelly beans because i don't even know if i like them that much like there's only a few fake flavors flavors that i love and they're all like in here but um yeah sorry i need to make myself comfortable but yeah i do love jelly beans but only certain flavors and i don't even know how many of these i'm gonna eat i might just give these to soul because i don't i don't like that many like some of these are absolutely disgusting like i don't like strawberry flavor things um pink grapefruit uh, pomegranate disgusting Tropical Punch is disgusting. Granny Smith Apple is disgusting. Caramel Popcorn is disgusting. So yeah, what I normally do with things like this is I just take out the nice flavours and leave the horrible ones inside. Like, I love the watermelon flavours and things like that. So, yes. Also, as you've probably been seeing in the back here, I've got this massive tub of Heroes. And my mum didn't get these for me. These were from my mum's work person, like a person that works for her. And she got me a whole tub of these and a whole tub of these for soul which is really generous and really like i don't know like a bloody whole tub i told you people are trying to make me fat i've received so much food it's bloody mad also for food my mum and ken got me cabri eclairs classics which are literally the best i was eating them in the cabin earlier when i was talking to my mum and i absolutely love eclairs because they're just like literally the best little chocolates and they're so handy like to just take around and that little box is really cute and i love them I also received these Mao Am stripes, which everybody loves Mao Am stripes, so you can't really go wrong with a pack of those. And I also got this massive tub of sweets, but this is the thing that really triggers me. They're all kind of 
strawberry themed like i'll open them i'll open the tub it's got strawberries in it as you can see there's like these green this there's strawberries which i don't like there's these things these hearts with like little bobbly things on it i really don't like the marshmallows are okay because they're not really strawberry they're just like marshmallow flavor the shrimps are okay but i could do better and i do actually really like the little mushrooms but you know, I don't even know about these. Like, I've only eaten a few, as you can see, and I'm probably not going to eat the rest. So I'll just give them to someone who does like strawberry sweets because we had these on Christmas Eve, if you watched that vlog, and I was eating a few during the film Elf, but then I realised I hated most of them. And that's not me being ungrateful. It's just me telling you that I don't like that kind of sweet. I need a wee. I'll be right back. So I'm back from my little wee. That was a very nice wee. And um, yeah, I've been holding it in for ages. I don't really understand why I'm just a weird human like that. But yeah, I think I've pretty much finished with food and I didn't really get any drink. Like I just got literally food, which I'm fine with because I bloody love food. The first thing which you guys watched me unwrap was this little dog doorstop. I absolutely love it. And its name is Left Fromage because that's just what I say a lot. And it gets probably annoying for other people. But I don't care because I think it's a good thing to say. And um, and it's quite a nice thing to say as well. Like just say it like Left Fromage. It just flows nicely. But yeah, this dog is called Left Fromage. And it's like a um, checkered kind of colour. And it's like a grey, white and black one. And it's got like beans in it. And yeah, it's like a doorstop. And I'm having it for my new room which is been decorated today half like half decorated today it's really good and i'll show you in a vlog on friday because i'm going blue water with my mum on friday to get more things with the money but yeah um i i love this little doggy it's really cute i don't i couldn't tell you where it's from and i know that it was five pound because mum decided to leave the label on but i ripped it off earlier and he can just sit with me and be like my pet because my dog doesn't love me and my dog decides to bite me also, another thing I might just mention quickly is this might be the last sit down video I film in this room because I'm um, moving into the other bedroom, which is the one which is quite hard to explain around the front of the house, which is a bigger bedroom. And we're decorating that today so I can move in there as soon as possible. I'm getting all new carpet in there and it's where my wardrobe is at the moment. So it's going to be pretty lit and I'm going to try and make a background for it, which is going to be so awesome and that'll be really cool to film in that room because this as i literally just said this might be the last video in here and i haven't even cleaned up anywhere the background is a mess anyway next thing i got this in my stocking which is a toenail scrub i don't really understand why mum just says oh your toenails are so manky i'm like they're not mum they're normal i don't have specifically bad toenails please don't be frightened of me because of my toenails they're perfectly fine look i would show you but i'm not very good at acrobatics so look they're fine i have really long and lanky toes though that's a bit disgusting but um yeah i don't need this and it's also like a nail brush so i might just use it for my actual nails instead of my toes but whatever i also received the soap x revolution palette and it's it has it says 24 ultra professional eyeshadows which i'm really really happy with and i love the packaging on it it's just like a watercolor with gold reflex all in it and on the back this is the color shade range you get which i think is absolutely stunning and it just has a bit of everything to do like any look i'm not using this today as i'm not wearing actually any eyeshadow because i couldn't be bothered to do eyeshadow but yeah i did actually have a go of this the other night when i was at my dad's and when i was it was Christmas Day, so there w there is a look with it. But um, that wasn't the best look because I had to do it quite quickly. But yeah, I do actually really like the formula of the eyeshadows. I do with every Revolution eyeshadow. I just think they're really good. And like for the price, they're not even that bad. Like, decentness. And I've wanted this so bad, like for so long. Like ever since she released it, I was just like, I want to go and get it. But I just haven't had the money to get it. And receiving it for Christmas has made me so, so happy. So thank you so much santa for this like it's bloody amazing i also got these candles which mum has in the cabin but they're not real candles as you can bloody tell they're like these it says led color change so you get a little remote control here and you have all the colors on it and you can set each one i think it has like number one number two and number three somewhere yeah but you can remote control all of them and there's so many different colors there's like all these different ones and i think it says 12 illuminating colours which is great and I'm going to put these I don't know I might put them in the background somewhere but in my new background actually 
but I've got to take down all that stuff up there because there's like Christmas things that you can barely even see. But yeah, these all look really good in the background and as they're just like colour changing, it might be quite satisfying for you guys to watch when I'm blabbling on about nothingness, which I really do like to do a lot. So presents from Soul. Soul got me this little um, reindeer cup and it's got like a twirly straw in it. And I don't know where we got it from, but I actually really love this. Soul has like a penguin one, but I definitely, definitely prefer this reindeer one. And I am, I am, I can't speak. I am going to use this all year round because um, I know that it's Christmas, but I really like the kind of set out of it. And as it's a bit bouncy, it makes me quite happy. So yeah, I am going to use this all year round and I don't care what anyone says. I think it's cute. And also from Zoe, it got me the weirdest thing. It's, it says unicorn poo. What? Yeah, I know. It's a bit weird, but um, it's actually quite satisfying. It says age is three plus, which is not very good for my age because I'm definitely not more than three. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's really, it's like slime. Like you poke it and it stays there. And it doesn't, it doesn't really make a sound. It's really, it smells like, you know, like child's clay kind of thing. And it's, yeah, it just smells like that toilet party thing. You know, with the farting one and you put your hand in it and then it goes... Pfft. Yeah, a bit like that, but it's just like pink and it's actually quite a nice colour and it's quite a nice little consistency and it's quite satisfying. But Sol has informed me that it does dry up quite quickly, so he informed me to throw it away straight away. So I probably will do that because it's not that amazing and I can just get it any other time if I really want to in my life. But thank you, Sol, for still making an effort and getting me those two things because I am a bad sister and I got you nothing, which I do apologise for. It's your birthday soon, so I will be sure to get you something for that because I am a good person. I also got this Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty, which I will do. I might do a video on this because it's pretty lit. And, um, uh, yeah, it's like a, um, it says Strange Attractor. It's like a magnetic one. You don't know if you can see all the little graphite pieces in it and it's really bumpy and nice. And inside there's actually a magnet. Like, can you guys see that? That's a magnet, but it's really hard to get out. But it's it's like a nice feeling putty anyway. It's just like a rough kind of slime putty. But it's this one that just attracts magnets, which is quite weird because like I dropped a little magnet in it and it just sucked it in and I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I also got this in my stocking and it was one of the ones that I filmed and it literally sticks so it didn't look... Yeah, but um, it was one of the ones that I filmed and I'm quite glad glad so that I did but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far because I am very much enjoying filming it and that came out of nowhere so yeah all around the box it has things saying that you can do with it it says um becomes magnetic need it twist it I don't even know and then there's like a thing that you can do with it where you like get the magnet and twirl it up and it says be a snake charmer and it's eight ages eight plus which again shouldn't be in my Christmas haul because I'm definitely not over eight. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I also got this weird little pom pom thing. I don't really know what it's for. Maybe I'll put it on my bag. I don't even know. But it's like, it's quite a nice one because it like ombres out from a light to like dark edges. And I love feeling things like this because it makes me really happy. And the feel of fur actually makes me happy. That's why with the dog when it comes and bees with me, pardon. I get really happy because I can just feel it's fur and it's really satisfying. So I can just feel this and pretend it's my dog. That's, that actually sounds really sad. I also got this pyjama set, which I am going to be using a lot because I bloody love it. Like, look at this. I need a new one of this because I have my jumper, which is hanging up right there that one there and it's really fluffy but i do need another one of these so i have this one instead it feels so soft and so nice and it's from primark and it's in a medium i don't know why and that says it's uk and ireland 12 to 14 which is not good because i'm literally at six to eight so whatever and these are also a medium which i don't understand because look at the waistband that's not gonna last massive for me because i have no hips or no waist because i'm just weird and um yeah they're quite nice because they're like these floral ones but i told my i might tell my mum to go back and change them but yeah i do like the um pattern i just need a smaller size this is the last thing i'm gonna review which isn't lush like after this the only things that i have left is lush so it's actually the dkmy donna karen new york perfume and it's the be delicious in icy apple and i did actually look at this the other day and i was just like oh it's actually really cool but um yeah like look at this look it's like a prismatic kind of base and the white little lid and it's like a matte white and then like a shiny glossy 
prism thing but yeah you take the top off like this and then you've got the little spray which is really cute because I had one like this before and I really missed it because I've completely run out of it but it wasn't the same scent it was still in the apple form but I literally can't remember what scent it was I, I literally couldn't tell you but yeah I was really happy to receive this and the packaging is actually really nice because it's like white silver diamonds on the box and it makes me really happy to have my favourite scent back again and I know you guys are probably thinking why wouldn't you go for like a better one instead of just like an apple but this apple one smells so delicious like it says on it be delicious and it is delicious so you know I'm so overly grateful for the scent. Now moving on to Lush products, like all of this is Lush in my stocking, I'll start with this, I got the Sugar Plum Fairy Bartman Lip Scrub, which I did put on my Christmas list, and look at like the, look at the colour, it's literally purple, it's so nice, I'm not going to eat any at the moment because I'm not really in the mood for eating it, but yeah, it's actually, it smells so good, it smells just like my Frosted Plum, um, shower gel from the body shop and it's absolutely pengaling like it really does help my lips and these lush ones are so nice like i had the bubble gum i've literally just run out of it so it's so great to literally get a refill on it like literally i ran out on like christmas eve or the 23rd and then i got a new one on christmas day which makes me so happy like it's as if they bloody knew that i was running low i also got these two bath oils which this one says delight which i don't know Oh, that's hard. That's a hard smell to explain. To it's like a toasted. Mm, that's hard. What's it say on it? But no, no, it doesn't say anything. It just says like. Don't even know. But it's really nice. The delight, the delight bath oil, and they're like the little ones that you put in the bath, and it like melts with it, and then it's like really soft on your skin, and it's really nice. And I also got this ginger bath oil, which perfectly matches my hair to start with and it does smell like gingery and like gingerbread kind of scent which makes me happy because I love that so much in like a bath product like I love strong scents like that which makes me sound really weird but I love ginger as a thing anyway like I used to eat it raw and I know that it's like really strong but I still used to do that and I'm just weird and I don't know about you guys but I always remember like decorating gingerbreads when i was little like with the little icing things you get at tesco's and stuff and then like the little beads and it's like nice but anyway i also got these other two bath bombs this is the golden wonder bath bomb which is like the um square present golden one with like the white straps on it and it's got like a blue center if i remember because um i had the same one last year and i love it and it makes the bath so golden and so nice and i also got the big sleep jelly bath bomb Oh, I don't know how to describe this, but it just smells like sweets, like the best sweets. And it's it's meant to be like, I think it's meant to be like a citric, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry kind of one. And it's so nice, like just, it's so good. And I don't know when I'm going to use it. I don't know when I'm going to use all this bath stuff because I still have two gift sets I need to review with you. But yes. And for gift sets, which um, I'm actually really happy about because I received three in total, one from Key and two from Santa. And this one is the little snow fairy one. It says it has inside the snow fairy shower gel, which I already love because Key got it in a bath um, set and I've already used it because I wanted to test it and it's bloody great. And I also got the snow fairy jelly bomb, which is a bit like the um, big sleep jelly bomb, I'm guessing, but that one just is a lot sweeter and the box smells amazing and someone's knocking on my door yes hello hello come in no it's okay no yeah they want to see you no it's fine oh i'm just yeah. wondering what time this all ends soon yeah okay I'm nearly uh, finished look i've only got this and one more thing to reveal okay. yeah i also got the sweetest thing bath set ting and it has inside the think pink bath bomb which i know i love the comforter bubble bar which is literally the best thing ever like the little one and the bubble gum lip scrub which i've literally i know i've already got the sugar plum fairy but this has the bubble gum one in it and this is literally that bubble gum one was literally the one that i loved so much and i literally ran out of so how they knew that i'd just run out and i just needed a new one in with like two other amazing things I don't know, but it makes me happy. 
so that is it for like physical gifts and there's also another gift which makes me like honestly i just literally am so excited and i'm gonna bring it up every single day like i'm at home to my parents i'm just so excited already and literally we're going to tenerife for seven days um literally we get it on the plane the day after my birthday we miss an extra four days off school because we're going early and it's at Stansted, I think, airport. And yeah, we're going to a five star hotel for seven days with three pools and it's gonna be bloody amazing, all inclusive. The flight's only gonna take four hours so I don't have to sit there and be bored. I'm gonna vlog the whole lot, which is gonna be so exciting. And we're also going to Siam Park on the Friday from like, cause we're, leave we're getting on the plane on the Tuesday and um, my birthday's on the Monday, so it's going to be absolutely amazing. And on the Friday, as I just said, we're going to Siam Park, which is apparently Europe's best water park, according to Ken. And Mum and Ken have already been there when they went to Tenerife. And yeah, I'm literally just so excited and I'm so buzzing. And everyone, like even my daddy, is so chuffed because we haven't been on holiday in um, three years, I think, abroad. Because the last place we went was Turkey with my dad and that was bloody amazing. And hope, I hope to be going back there because dad said that we might be going back. So I'm really proud of, I'm proud, really pleased with that present. That's literally the best one. And it's going to be like an addition to my birthday because obviously it's literally like two days after I'm so buzzing. But yeah, I do need to calm down and I do need to end this video because I am, I am running out of time in life and I need to get this edited and uploaded really soon. I hope you guys um, don't take this as like a bad video because I'm so thankful for everything I got and I actually got loads and I'm so excited to use half of it and it's going to make me really happy and I can use it all year like not just at Christmas and I'm literally just I'm all lush out especially like I have loads of lush stuff which is great but anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did then be sure to leave me with a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more videos every wednesday and on the weekends god i miss saying that and i'll see you next time when we're doing something more exciting bye